is called the RAD or Rapid Ascent and Descent. And the advantages of this one is that you already have your descender hooked in. So when it's time to change over, you don't need to take components off because that just opens up Pandora's box for uh, potential error, human error, and catastrophic failure. ASAP backup from the sternal. I am making progress with the handle of the center and capturing with my descender, my ID. Same size up as before, I'm standing straight up and my, or my handle of the center is above the descender. And so when I sit into this, I take my first step or my first throw, again, I have an adjustable lanyard for my cow's tail so I can limit the, the max distance on this so it doesn't get out of my reach. So when I step up, it goes slack and I might struggle to pull through a slack device. So what I wanna do is, as I step up, try to eyeball this and maintain a little bit of tension. As I step up, a little bit of tension and I pull and then I sit back into it. So I, I make progress high and I step up and I capture sit into it just like that make progress high step up sit into it if this action if this pull action is too difficult for you or it's awkward there's a little pulley here that i can clip in what i've created here is actually a three to one not a two to one change of direction but a three to one so now maybe i don't even have to step up at all maybe i just extend my ascender up and then pull and I'm pulling myself up on three to one through the descender and it's captured. So this is also an option. So, and when it's time to change over, it's just a matter of taking this out, disconnecting your ascending part, of, and now I'm ready to descend without having to change over any gear. So that's the rad system.